Hello, I'm Pete Squires. I'm the uh, Professor of Criminology and Public Policy from the uh, University of Brighton. And until tomorrow, I'm President of the British Society of Criminology. Uh, I wanted to come and talk about the paper we're presenting on Thursday, which is all about the uh, British Criminology Survey, which we've undertaken over the last year or so. Uh, it's, it's about 30 years since there's been a survey of the what you might call the state of criminology in Britain, and we thought we'd um, take another look. There's been a, a, a considerable expansion of the universities and the departments in which criminology is is, is taught and researched and so we thought we'd try to get a handle on um, what kind of shape it's in, where's it happening, how's it happening, what's being studied in the name of criminology. A number of issues have, have, have pushed this to the fore, in particular the, the whole REF and the impact agenda, what kind of message is criminology giving. Um, we, we hear politicians talk about crime a lot and we want to sort of assess the extent to which criminology is having something meaningful to say about what we can do about these problems. All manner of people d during a cri crime crisis, during a knife crime crisis for instance, talk about what causes knife crime. Half of them aren't criminologists and some of them talk the most incredible nonsense. So one of the things we wanted to do is what's criminology got to say about some of the current problems we're facing? Uh, and what does it also mean about the, the terms and conditions uh, under which criminology is delivered? What kinds of uh, teaching environments are there? Where's the research money coming from? There are a whole new load of disciplines, police studies, crime science, security studies, all nibbling at the edges of criminology and we wanted to look at what is distinctive about criminology today um, and that's what we, we, we undertook. So the survey, it, it uh, went out to all institutions in the UK uh, where some criminology research or teaching is undertaken uh, and we eventually got um, complete applications from 53 different higher education institutions which is a pretty big survey it's the biggest survey for 30 years as, I, as I've said um, and the, the findings are quite interesting um, what they what they disclose is is during a period of rapid expan expansion of um, of criminology in the UK we've seen it grow fast and furious in the new university sector uh, where where it's driven very much by a teaching uh, perspective less less large-scale research going on there but lots of teaching and that's meant there's a massive diversity there's a whole new range of different types of criminology green criminology cultural criminology convict criminology Criminology is becoming very diverse and a lot of that diversity is coming out of the expansion uh, of, of criminology in the newer universities. But what we also found is that there's a massive disparity in staff-student ratios um, going down at, at the lower end to single figures, you know, six students per member of staff all the way up to 50 in, in some institutions and that's a that's a massive inequality uh, that says a lot about the different kind of workloads that criminologists will have and I think that's an important issue for a for an organization representing criminologists to take up a second feature is that we, we've identified some fairly clear glass ceilings in the in the hierarchy of universities that I've talked about the uh, post 92 universities the new universities then we've got the kind of middle older universities then we've got the Russell group and you can you can plot those divisions on that gradation of staff student ratios and see where the resourcing is best and yet where in other institutions they seem to be rather piling students high and teaching them sh cheaply and I think that points to something of, of criminology becoming a bit of a cash cow subject for, for universities wanting to get lots of students in to study a, 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 a topical and interesting subject but they need to be considering the way they appropriately resource it. Um, we've also discovered some interesting things about where the lion's share of um, 
criminology research funding goes and you won't be surprised to know that that follows the, the fault lines of those glass ceilings I alluded to earlier. Yet in the new universities uh, the majority of research is unfunded. It's people doing things that they're interested in and taking that through into their into their teaching and it, and it signals a massive commitment but our concern as a, as a, as a criminological society is that that commitment is somewhat being exploited by universities that want the subject but ought to be putting their money where their mouth is. So as I said this is, a, this is 30 years since we've done a survey like this. I think it's got some important things to say about where criminology is at and where it might be going but, it, but it's also a, a food for thought for the British Society of Criminology to take up in our, in our role as a learned society trying to support and develop the interests of criminology as a, as a discipline in Britain. Do?